Hey Flames and welcome to the Ludum Dare Burn Through. Now this is something new I'm doing. What I do is I go to the Ludum Dare page, I click on view all games. Then I go through each of the pages, there's a whole load of them, like 86 this time around. And then I pick one game from each page based on the screenshot, the, that look cool, one that looks cool to me. And then, well then I open them on tabs. Then I go through the tabs and I pick four, four of them that I really like and I make a video on them. Easy as that. And yeah, this is my Ludum Dare burn through for Ludum Dare 28. Tell me if you like the idea. If I if you do I might do it more and I might do it for other game jams as well. Here we go. Um enjoy the first game and I'll see you at the end of the video. This is Teku Niku by Robotic. This is a Unity game and it's a little fighting game. But the trick is, and this is how it fits into the theme, you only get one move. You design the move at the start, and then you only have that move throughout the entire fight. It's, a, it's like a fighting game. So, let's jump right in, because I love this game. It's fun. Solo versus bot. Yes, I think there is only solo. I don't know. Maybe there's more. I have no idea. I should have done research. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so I, I crank up my moves. We Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh yeah, that's totally a, a valid move that won't kill me instantly. Um, okay, yeah, let's make it like that. Oh yeah, let's just make a confusing little bowl. Okay, let's wait it out. That guy has an interesting thing going on there. So what you do... Okay, my move is called the Endless Strike of the God. Well, the other guy is Kawaii Technic Beta. Or Beta. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, moves are pretty funny named. I think it's randomly generated, I don't. And then you basically press F to launch the move. And based on your position, on the ground or wherever, the move has a different effect. Okay. And you have to defeat this guy. Well, my move might not have been so great, it seems. Kill him! Kill him. I'm just going to button mesh. Oh, I got it. I got a hit in. You know, this looks like a break dancing simulator. Look at him go. Oh, and I got a hit in. Come on, little bot. Spin around. Come on. Jump, jump, jump. Come on. No, don't hit me. I am amazing. My strike is endless. I will strike you down. Oh damn, he got another hidden. Well, this move might have not been the best le best designed one. I might still pull it off if I'm really lucky or or, or yeah. <laughs> I might not pull it off at all. Come on, kill him. You know you can. You have the move of the masters. I am the master of course because I designed your move. I would know. Yeah, I'm I'm the pink one. In case you didn't know, the one that's currently losing. Or or not. Wait. Oh yes, I'm actually in no, we're tied. And now I'm losing. Now we're tied again. Oh. Oh, it comes down to this. And I win! Oh, pink wins. Oh, yes, I win, I win, I win. I'm the master robot move designer. Okay, that was... What's it called? Teku Niku by Robotic. Go vote for it, it's quite fun. Go play it, go download it and play it. Yes. Okay, next game. Welcome to Agent 1, made by Daniel SND and Eliza Wibisono. Sorry if I said the things wrong, I don't know. And the music is by Skifoos. Whoever Skifoos is, cool music, man. Okay, let's get us. This is a little brawl em, fight them up thingy. And yeah, let's go. There might be some frame rate drops. It has a weird flashing thing that makes bad to my frame rate. Oh, it didn't happen this time. Great. Okay. So what you do is you have one minute to get to the end of the level. Notified by that thing that I've been if there. But you have to kill enemies on your way there to get points. Kill the enemies. 
kill the enemy. Oh, oh, you, I think you're the agent. Yes, you're agent one. Not agent two, that guy's an asshole. You're agent one, the amazing one. Yes, the amazing one. I went there. Look at my roll of power. And look at my super punch. I also have a gun. Which I use to kill people. But mostly my fists. Because my fists are more powerful than guns. Yes, that is the truth. It is indeed. Hey, it seems the level is slightly randomly generated. I'm not sure if I'm correct on that, but it seems like so. Anyway, here we go. Um, something, something bad, guys. Something, something power plant. Kill. End of level. Yes, save the world. Something. Don't shoot me, asshole. Not a shooting asshole. I will kill you if you're a shooting asshole. Yes. Kill, kill. Come on. Roll of power, roll of power. Fight him up, fight him up. Yes. Oh, I love this. Come on. Punch out, punch him out, punch him out, punch him out. Here we go. No, you will not kill me. Thank you. You have been deft. I roll through. Roll, roll, roll. Hey, this might be the end of the level. It is. Well, that was the game. It's a little short, but it's fun. Congratulations, Agent 1. You managed to save the world and managed to score. 2-2-4-0 two, two, while doing it. The world will forever be in your debt. As opposed to when I just get 2 0 oh, 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 oh. That's too many hours anyway. Yes. Next game. Welcome to last minute Christmas chopping by that man Notch. You know the guy that made that game that was slightly popular and stuff. You know the one. Blocks and punching and stuff like that. What was it called again? Oh yeah, Minecraft. Anyway. This is last minute Christmas chopping. In which you play as Santa. Who forgot about Christmas. And now needs to go chop down trees for presents. It's a little weird. You're racing against the sun because when the sun goes down, you're screwed. And kids won't be happy. So let's see if I can do it because I couldn't up until now. And go. Come on, Santa. Chop them trees. Chop them trees. Oh, yes. Chop them trees. Come on. Chop them trees. You have a little special move that you can do by getting goo from the purple trees. Purple trees? Tentacles! Makes you chop trees faster! And But if you hit them without chopping them, you lose some wood. Because that's slightly bad. And a bit of a punishment for, you know, not getting... Come on. Yes, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm not going to get there in time. Come on! Notch always has a way of making games that are painful to my arms. And I didn't win. This is child. Santa made child sad. Santa got a score of 862. You only had one minute and you screwed it up. Yes, I did. Well, that's hard. Now my palm is hurt. Next game. And finally, welcome to Parallel Sync. Now, this is a game made by 0x0961h, which is some kind of number that is not base 10, so I do not know it. Anyway, let's get right into it. I'm, I'm pretty sure this game is fun. It's about parallel universes. Well, one. there's only one parallel universe. And I like this description, so it shows it. Also, the guy is cool, and he said I can do this, so... Video time! Okay, so, what you have here is you have this guy. And you have this guy. Now, the buttons in this guy's world affect the things in this guy's world. So, let's say there the button will come in but only at the exact same timestamp so let's say i press this button at timestamp 10 then it only comes up here at number 10. i think it's quite a cool idea 
He could have done a lot more with it, but obviously time limitations due to this being a ludum there. Okay, let's just get down here. And I think I might need to get to the next button here. And there we go. And then here... I think it might actually have been more challenging, actually. If you actually had to be at the exact same timestamp. And you didn't have the waiting, so it would have a little bit of puzzle solving. Although I'm not complaining about the game's design. Oh, I need to find what reddish. I'm not complaining about the game's design, I absolutely love it. It's pretty damn cool. But you know, that might have had some puzzle solving elements which would have been cool. Hey, maybe somewhere in the game future or whatever I don't know let's jump up here you know it could have been a bit more challenging but I really like I, I like the idea which is what Ludum Dare is about it's about or Ludum Dare it's about getting fresh new ideas and implementing them in ways that nobody could predict and that's exactly what this is doing which is why it would, I think it would do really well in Ludum Dare Ludum Dare It'll win at least something, I'm, uh, I hope, because this game kind of deserves it. It's a, it's a very cool idea. I haven't seen anything like it before, although I might just not have been looking. So, um, don't quote me on that one. Okay, next button, and then I can move up there. And we're almost entirely synced. Hey, we actually are synced, pretty much. So the idea is, is you need to sync up these two worlds by getting to the end with both, with both of them. And once you do that... Okay, I'm going to have to get to that button. See, that's the end of that one. And this is the end of this one. So, there, there. There. Okay, so we'll enter the world at the same time and they have been synchronized. That's a pretty cool game. Thank you, guy with random. I think it's hexadecimal. I don't know. R random number. Thank you. Chop. Well, guys, that's it for my Ludum Dare burn through of Ludum Dare 28. Um, I hope you liked the games I chose. If there are any that you like that I haven't covered here, Tell me what they are and I might check them out because it's pretty cool Go vote for these games if you're a Ludum Dareer if you do that and you're a participant go vote for them write them Play them. It's really fun. Leave comments, whatever. I'll put all the links to each of the pages in the description Have fun guys. It's always fire out